my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me and welcome to today's video where I'm actually <laughs> I think I'm not gonna survive this sweeties let me explain okay so of course I'm going to talk to you uh, today about the things that I wish I didn't buy in my collection okay but sweeties this is a day that I have been waiting for for two years ever since I started YouTube I have been waiting and dreaming about this day for two years sweeties okay so let me tell you why <laughs> I think God and the universe and everybody is smiling at me, but at the same time, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I'm terrified. Okay, so I'm collabing today with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and with Angelica Nyquist. Sweeties, <laughs> is this real? Is this true? I don't know. I will only know once I've published this video if this is really true. <laughs> All right, so sweeties, you know, you know those two, right? Like I'm the one who is not known. Annette is of course from America. I mean, she is originally from Norway. So we are basically all Europeans because I'm originally from Germany. But anyway, I'm going to talk about myself in just a little bit. I first, of course, want to introduce my collab partner. So let's go to Annette. She has a review channel and she is an amazing person who has helped me so much. I have spoken about this already several times here on my channel. She is brilliant she is brilliant and she is doing something really really right and I'm trying to be like her a little bit because I want to have her success and I want to have her what she's doing I just can't pull it off <laughs> but anyway um, the the way she handles makeup the way she is fearless with makeup but I think we all all of us three are but um, the way she is the attitude the attitude towards makeup and also the way she handles brands because reviews it's a tricky situation, especially when you start getting PR and whatever, you know, and it is not an easy, easy situation to be honest and to be not biased and all of that. And she is, I don't even know how she does it. I don't even know how she does it. If you want to have an honest review, like no nonsense review, go to her. Like she is amazing and you will always get the truth. And I admire her for that. You know, it would make me feel so uncomfortable in her situation to like point out everything that is not working for her with a palette, for example, and stuff like that. But she does it so gracefully and she's so kind about it, but she is still saying saying it the way it is, you know, and I love that. I love that and we need people like this. And I once asked her, how do you get the courage to be like this? And she says, you know what, in the end, at the end of the day, it helps the brands. It helps the brands to get an honest feedback so they can, if they want to, if they choose to, they can change their formula, they can work on whatever what it was that didn't work for her. So I absolutely admire her. Plus, she is a very, very, very sweet person to me, towards me. I really appreciate her. She has helped me a lot with advice and beyond. Uh, so she is just amazing. And I highly recommend for you to uh, check her out if you're not already, because most of you seriously probably are subscribed to all of us already so anyway that is that and then there is of course Angelica sweeties you all know Angelica was the first youtuber I started watching I think she was around two no 20 a uh, 20k I think and um, Annette was around 11k when I started watching them so they have come a long way ever since <laughs> but anyway so um, I'm the small one here <laughs> and but I'm so glad that I that I'm like that I can be here, you know, it's just amazing for me. It's huge. So um, Angelica was my first love on YouTube and um, I have grown with her, you know, she was my inspiration to create a YouTube channel and she is the how I wanted to be. Let's be honest, you know, um, over those last two years, I have also seen the differences that we have, not differences in the sense of that we are fighting about something, uh, not at all. It's just that I developed my own preferences because in the beginning, I didn't know. I didn't even know. She introduced me to colorful makeup. She introduced me to the YouTube beauty community, you know, not that she knew that she did, but 
she was, you know? So anyway, I started watching her and then I, I started my channel. So Angelica is based in Sweden and that is so cool because my husband speaks Swedish also among many other languages. And yeah, so because he is quite often in Sweden and uh, for business and that is, is so cool because, you know, it's like we're all, it's like really the world is such a small place when you think about it, you know? My husband is American, so that's the connection to the other continent where Annette is and I'm German, European, and I live in Israel. So it's, I don't know, we are all of us three uh, Europeans, uh, really, but we are now based in three different continents and we are three color queens. And I love that. I love that, that with all the differences that we have, that we are still like bonding in so many things, you know? And that is just really, really cool. So I love Angelica. I love, I love, <sighs> Sweeties, you fill in the blanks. I love also Annette and um, it's just, this is the part of the beauty community where I think, wow, my heart wants to sing. You know, this is the beauty that I want. Okay, this is the unproblematic beauty that I want. All right, sweeties, so that is it. So if you're new here, then let me just introduce myself also a tiny little bit. I'm Leora. <laughs> I'm a makeup artist. I'm actually a trained registered nurse by profession. And I left my profession because I got busy having kids. <laughs> I have seven. They're ranging in the age from 13 till almost four. So I am 40 years old and I am also a registered or trained makeup artist, a certified makeup artist and that's what I'm doing now. I'm not working as a nurse anymore, but that is that was, was my first profession, okay? So anyway, now I'm a working certified makeup artist and this is basically your my business. I'm also doing a styling business. So if you're interested in what I'm doing, because I'm of course standing for colors and like everything that is bold, everything that is out there, then uh, please check out my social media. You will find it, of course, in the description box down below. So you can see my work, what I'm doing. Okay, and that is basically what I'm doing my channel here is beauty and lifestyle because of where I'm living. I live in Jerusalem, Israel. So the beauty community here is like, ew. <laughs> I'm always laughing about this when, when Angelica says in her videos, you know, how long the shipping takes and like what she can't get and what is not delivered to Europe. Sweeties, <laughs> come to Asia. <laughs> if you're not living in Dubai or like in a huge place, you know, uh, it's a desert, sweeties, really, seriously. So yeah, <laughs> so that's why I'm also including lifestyle a little bit, not too much, but a little bit of lifestyle into my channel because it just helps me to create content. Plus I also feel like beauty and lifestyle can go so beautifully together. And a lot of beauty is also what you create with your lifestyle because you cannot really be a beautiful person you know, if your lifestyle sucks. You can fool people for some time, but you know, people will be smart enough to figure you out. So anyway, I'm all promoting healthy living and all of that. And uh, yeah, and I'm also doing some wrapping tutorials for, you know, turbans and stuff like that. So that is what I'm doing here on my channel and feel free to just stick around or like check out my other content, whatever you want to do. So I'm very, very glad you swung by and I'm super happy for everybody who is here. Okay, so now let's get finally, after like eight minutes, <laughs> Wow. Uh, get into the topic of today's video. So when those two beautiful ladies, Annette and Angelica, told me what they want to have as the topic of the video, I was like, wow, what, what am I going to do? Because the topic is the things that I thought or I, I wished I wouldn't have bought. Now, I do have a couple of things, but of course, my collection cannot compare at all to what Angelica and Annette have. But besides that also, I have a couple of things that I didn't even buy myself that I got gifted from other people, from friends or whatever, where I thought, yeah, I didn't really need this, you know, but you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? You're saying thank you, you use it, you're happy with it, and that's what it is. So I did not include those things, but so I was just trying to narrow it down to the things that I actually bought myself. There are actually also two things, one that I bought on suggestion of Angelica and one thing that I bought on suggestion of Annette, and that was something that I I really, really thought, wow, I didn't need this in my life. So anyway, we're going to get to this, but let's start. And this is in no order of, of importance or anything, but let's start with this. This is my MAC palette. <laughs> 
this is my really my first uh, colorful makeup that I bought because really seriously the only thing we have here locally is two MAC stores and two Il Maquillage stores and one Kiko Milano store. That is it. Forget Forget drugstore. It's like, it's non-existent. It's ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous, okay? But even, for example, Kiko Milano, we are getting now, in the summer of 2020, we are getting now the summer 2019 collection. We're not even getting here what is the current collection that everybody else is reviewing, you know? And I only noticed that when Angelica reviewed some items of the current Kiko Milano collection a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, wow, that packaging looks different. How can that be, you know? And <laughs> then one of my subscribers told me, oh, sweetie, this is, uh, th this is what it is. You are having last year's collection, and this is what they're selling selling in our stores as the new collection and that happens all the time. That's where I'm living, okay? Just saying. So this is from MAC. Um, I tried to create a, like a bit of a <laughs> collection here. I stopped, as you can see, because these shadows are just not good. I, I used them a couple of times. Some of them went hard pan immediately. These are the mattes and here are a few shimmers. I just do not like the, the consistency and the formula of MAC eyeshadows at all. Now, I don't know about their ready-made palettes, if there is any difference in that. have never tried that, but these are absolutely atrocious and I probably will never use them again. I'm just keeping them for, I don't know, for whatever reason I'm keeping them. Maybe I thought that I would at, at some point fill up the palette, I, but I probably won't. So <laughs> just saying, this is what it is. That was MAC Single Eyeshadows, really, really not. And they are super expensive, you know? They are super expensive. What you pay for one eyeshadow here is around, I don't know, $26 for one? You know, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, so while we're already talking about single eyeshadows, let's maybe go um, to the next one, and that is Kiko Milano. <laughs> I'm not saying that Kiko Milano is bad at all. It is actually one of my most favorite stores here because it is a little bit more in the range of affordable makeup for me. Because, you know, if I would want to buy everything from MAC or Il Maquillage, I would be broke. I would have no money left to buy anything else and that is just not cool. So anyway, I bought those because I saw all these beautiful people like Angelica and a few other people that have amazing singles collections amazing like when she takes out her palettes and shows and puts um, her own little palettes together when she goes traveling or whatever i'm sitting there drooling drooling you know i you know so i tried <laughs> this is my attempt of having a singles collection never used them never used them sweeties <laughs> I'm more like a ready-made palette girl, really. As for right now, maybe at some point I will have more and then I will get more into it. I also have other stuff waiting for me that I'm not yet ready to touch because I'm just not... I doesn't matter why. Anyway, but these I have never used. I only bought them in order to... so I can say I have a singles collection. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next thing is... and before you all come and kill me... <laughs> Just wait till I finish talking, okay? So this is Davina. These are my Davina singles. <laughs> I regret buying them, but for a reason. I have not touched them. I bought them about a year ago. And I have not touched them because I don't have any mats to go with it. So this is where my reason is why I regret buying them. Because I regret having bought only those without any mats. Or that I bought them back then already. Maybe I should have waited till I had more funds available so I can buy them together with a bundle of mats. Because for me, I'm working for the most part according to traditional makeup application to have my good mats in the crease and up and then a good shimmer. I don't have to, you know, but you know, it's that's, that's my comfort zone uh, to have a good shimmer on my lid and whatever, you know, blend out my mats nicely. So that is where I'm comfortable. I'm pretty furious when it comes to colors, but I want to have my mats. That is very important to me. And uh, just using that is just not very logical for me because I also like to do one brand looks, you know? Of course, I have other mats to pair it up with. Like, really, who cares? But because I'm also publishing my pictures and I want to also tag the brands and whatever, for me, it makes sense to do one brand looks for the most part. So that's why I haven't used them yet. And I'm basically waiting for the day that I'm going to get around to buying mats from the Vina so I can finally use those beautiful, beautiful singles. It's crazy, right? It's stupid. But I bought them, I think it was 
was even pretty much exactly a year ago because I think I used my my discount that I got for my birthday and that was of course in August so yeah, that is that. The next thing is a palette from Revolution. Now, I do have a couple of palettes from Makeup Revolution. Are they the best ones in my whole collection? Absolutely not. I also have not used them ever since the review or the first impression, depending on what I did in each case. Um, I haven't used them a whole lot, but do I ever go back to makeup a lot? No, because my collection is, even though it is much smaller than Angelica's and, and Annette's, and I don't have that much makeup coming in like they do probably, but um, still it is uh, a little bit out of control if you consider it as a normal person <laughs> but I mean makeup is also my business so I'm considering this also my business and that's why I think I can justify it but anyway so the palette that I'm talking about is this one I wanted this because of the color scheme because I liked it and back then I was also more into like warmer tones and stuff right now I'm not feeling them too much but this palette I've never touched I've never touched because once I got it I actually saw I think it was Paulina from Paulina Beauty who did a review on this and she was struggling and she was like this is not a good palette sweeties you know so um, and then I sort of lost my inspiration maybe I should have gone ahead and like formed my own opinion but I was like eh <laughs> You know, it was not a super, super expensive palette. It was like, I don't know, $10 or something, but still it is 10 wasted dollars. And you know, it's it's a shame. I've never used it. I don't, I like, but as of right now, I don't even feel like I'm gonna ever go back to this. It's probably gonna go to my girls for playing but anyway so we're moving on to Morphe and I'm going to leave the things that I got influenced from um, Annette and Angelica I guess I'll, I'll leave that to the last pieces okay so Morphe this one and I bought this this was also actually connected to Paulina uh, so she said that this is a spectacular palette this is the life in color or live in color forgot uh, palette I think that was the the release they had in the summer 2019 I believe it was last year summer where they came out with this and I uh, watched her video and she said I think she said this shade is spectacular and this is an amazing palette okay so that was limited edition I believe and I tried to get it and I got my hand on one of them still and that was great I was really really happy about it and I tried it out and I was like hey <laughs> like I didn't like it I didn't like it you know it was okay I I always stand for like if you're not new here then you know that I always stand for trying my best to make makeup work I do not give up after the first time I don't you know that's not how I work with makeup that's why I'm also almost never ever doing first impressions I only do reviews and I only show you or tell you what I'm thinking once I have worked with a palette for about a week okay because for me personally it takes some time to feel myself into a palette so that's why I'm not doing first impressions now if I were a huge youtuber who has to like keep um, a schedule with the brands with release dates and stuff like this then maybe it would be different I, I would have to do it maybe because it would make also business sense but as of right now I don't have that at all at all so I don't have that pressure so I can do reviews whatever I want right so that's what I'm doing so this one I didn't like it at all <laughs> to say so I could have saved myself this money and then there is one more thing from Morphe where I think wow I made my husband run through LA for the <laughs> Morphe and James Charles palette sweeties when that released that was I believe maybe February 2019 that was while my husband was on a business trip in America and I told him you will get me this palette do it <laughs> yeah so he ran from I don't know where like he said to me I'm trying this I'm trying that I can't get it they don't have it they don't have it at some point he found a Morphe store uh, where they actually had it already or still had it I don't remember anymore I wanted to have this palette why don't even ask I don't know I just wanted to have something because here I have nothing you know I can't buy anything and also back then more than a year ago my collection was really really small compared to now you know I have put a big big emphasis why am I holding this uh, I have put now in the last months a huge emphasis on like getting more different brands different formulas more experience you know and also going away from mainstream because my main focus is absolutely indie now so I uh, I don't even 
even know. I used this, I think, for one collab and one other look, and that was it. And this is like, I believe, maybe a, like a $39 palette or something. It's a, such a waste, you know? I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, even if I look at this now and see that there is like, like all of those shades, what do I need them for? You know? I mean, you probably know that once in a while I love to do a nice classy neutral look and like have a bright lip and whatever and be super classy, uh, Instagram classy. <laughs> but I don't need a palette like this. Seriously, I absolutely don't. I don't know. I just wanted something. I just wanted something and that's probably all it was, you know? So, okay, so let's go, we're almost done. Well, let's go to this. Uh, these are uh, contour sticks. This is from Kiko Milano. I bought this locally in my uh, Kiko Milano store. And I think I also saw this from Angelic, but this is not even, this is not even what I, what I wanted to. <laughs> talk to you about when it comes to Angelica but anyway she uses contour sticks and like cream products like nobody else I mean there are a lot of people who know how to use it I'm not saying that it's just that she does it so beautifully and looks so beautiful on her and I know that it is a good way to do makeup I'm also doing on clients I'm doing makeup like this but for me sweeties I don't know. Anyway, so I have here, what is this? This is, I think these are two um, blush sticks. Maybe I should have gone for something a little bit more traumatic. Maybe this is what it is. But anyway, um, this is the shade Golden Peach and Natural Rose. Yeah, these were my two blush sticks that I have used once and uh, not, not so good. And then I also have two highlighters. One was in the shade Rose and one was in the shade Gold. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me, sweeties. Uh, cream products, for several reasons, are just not so much for me, and I'm going to get into this right now. <laughs> it's too hot in my country. All right, uh, Middle East, seriously. Okay, I'm going to get into this also with the next thing, and that is actually what I 100,000% bought, because Angelica said, this is amazing. Colourpop... <laughs> Do you hear a bell ringing? Um, Colourpop should come out with more shades of this and this is amazing and you should have it and this and that and the other thing. Okay, so so I'm talking about these. <laughs> Sweeties, this is the Hades um, highlighter, Super Shock highlighter from, from Colourpop and this is the Ursula one. These are the exact ones that she shows on her channel. They look beautiful. They look absolutely beautiful on her. They look like pure gold, okay? For me... <laughs> It's not working at all. You know, I have to, if you're new here, let me explain just like in two sentences, okay? I have melasma. I have melasma, I need full coverage foundation, I need serious color correcting under my foundation. I got melasma from having all my kids, okay? This is what pregnancy can do to you. So it, it did fade a little bit after I stopped <laughs> popping babies, but still it's going to be there. It is always there. So I have to do color correcting and I have to have full coverage foundation. I have no choice. If I want to look properly, you know, then I have to do that. So if I'm using stuff like that, it'll take off my cut my foundation and my my color correcting you know so the first time I used them I <laughs> I did that on video I deleted the footage this is how bad it was you know this is how bad it was I was so scared to even say it because I was like how can I ever disagree with Angelica like she's the Pope right I'm Jewish, I don't need the Pope, but you know what I mean, right? She's like some, some kind of out of this world being for me. And I was like, I cannot disagree with her. What is wrong with me? What, like something is seriously not right with me. So I f thought maybe, I don't know, maybe it got damaged in shipping. Maybe something, they, the, I don't know, it got frozen on the plane and that changed the formula. I was trying to come out with all kinds of explanations. You hear this? The garbage truck is coming. Okay, so let me just go on a break till they're finished and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, I hope the garbage truck is far away now so you can still hear me or hear me again. And I also got the opportunity to just <laughs> cool down a tiny little bit. But I have to just finish this video because once it gets too hot, I just cannot film anymore. My brain seriously shuts down. Okay, so just wanted to say, you know, it is per it is so, so personal. Makeup is a very, very personal thing. And I'm not blaming anyone here for making a suggestion because, of course, according to Angelica's experience, this was the holy grail. 
this was absolutely up her alley and I get it because it looks phenomenal on her but for me it just didn't work this this whole concept doesn't work also and that sort of blends into huh, this also blends into this whole thing that I just said with the cream contour and cream blushes and things like this for me it is just an issue that is very personal to me and probably also to a couple of other people who want to or try to color correct their melasma uh, that it's just an issue you know it's an issue that one has to take into to take into consideration when you are taking the recommendation of someone is that really where the other person is too you know because of course Angelica she likes light to medium coverage in her foundation she doesn't have melasma so she doesn't have those issues so you know, it is just a, like a different starting point and we always have to consider that. So that's what it is. Now let's go to uh, the one thing that <laughs> actually, you know what, Annette recommended a lot of things and I have been happy with a lot of things and I've also bought a lot of things because of her, seriously. But one thing I bought and that didn't work for me. So that was, I think maybe in November, 2019, I wanna say, that was shortly after I had found her channel and she did a look uh, I don't know which palette that was anymore, but in the inner corner, she used this. <laughs> this is a loose neon pigment from Glamier. And she used that, and she just used it in the inner corner, and that was it. And I thought, I think it was a neutral look even. And she used this in the inner corner, and I thought, this is amazing. Like, really, you know? Um, so I went ahead and I bought myself... <laughs> <laughs> I waited for a sale and that was like a good sale on the Glamier website and that is when I bought all of those. I have tried to film with them. <laughs> you know what happened to the footage? It went right into the garbage. Sweeties, I got so frustrated with these pigments that I deleted everything and I even took off all my makeup and just went without makeup. I went to wash my face and decided that I'm not going to wear makeup that day because I personally, I do makeup in the morning. That's also when I'm filming my makeup looks. I can never pull it off to film in the evening because of my family situation and everything. I'm doing my makeup in order to live like this, okay? Uh, because this is how I look during the day. I'm not doing this for YouTube, okay? This is how I am. So um, I preferred to not wear makeup at all than to have a look with this this okay but granted i didn't try to use it only in my own inner corner i wanted to create a whole look with this i wanted to have the whole video featured around this and it did not work at all you know when you put it on like the first dab you put on is fine the second you're trying to put on more or to trying to like blend it out gently or like whatever it just all crumbles into a big mess and it's a huge disaster. Unless you're telling me that there is something else that I can do better or something. I used it on an unset surface, you know, the, the typical thing. And I think that the reason why Annette's look was so successful was because she really just put it in the inner corner and that was it. I think that was the, the thing that made it successful, but I could be completely wrong because I know that she would never say this is good if it's not. I know that for sure. So um, maybe I should try that. But again, it's a little bit like the Tammy and uh, Revolution palette that I just shot, showed you. Did I even say what it was? It's the Tammy and Revolution palette. I just, you know, I just lost the inspiration to use it. And that's the same with the, with these pigments, you know. Anyway, I'm not too much into like loose pigments and stuff like that. Because it's just, you know, if there is fallout and I have to brush something off, it is a big deal even if I've set everything under my, my eye area. Because for me, it is a big deal if it takes off my foundation and stuff. It, I just, there is very, very little I can fix after this, you know. And I'm very, very sensitive. It, it, this is a big deal for me you know this whole area for me is just a super big deal so I'm not playing with that <laughs> so anyway that's what was recommended to me uh, by Annette and but I have seen for example the cake palette from Glamlight and her on her channel and I bought it because of her you know and I was happy with that palette is it my most favorite formula not necessarily but I liked it you know I'm in general a, a person that likes a lot you know I'm very very positive I'm trying to always 
always stay positive in like a lot of things especially when it comes to makeup um, but you know there are certain things that have just not worked for me so th these are basically the things that I still have there are also a lot of things that I bought locally from local brands which is maybe not so important for like the general public because you can only get them in Israel but also there are other things that I've already long decluttered like for example the the take me to Brazil palettes from BH cosmetics you know these were my first colorful palettes but I also did not buy them myself I have to say I got them from a friend and I used them for a while to get into colorful makeup but then I gave them to my kids because there was really so much out there that is so much better so anyway not saying that any of this is horrible just saying that you know I didn't need this I did not need this in my life so anyway that is what it is I love makeup you know I love my collection I love everything that comes into my life so I'm not trying to be negative here but there is like a certain amount of re reflection or reflection <laughs> reflecting that one has to do as an adult person and also as a business person if you're running this as a business then you have to reflect on what makes sense where are your mistakes what should you look out for in the future and maybe narrow it down really to what you want so I can see for example what Angelica is doing that she says lesser or fewer but nicer things I like that about her because she knows what she wants also recently she did a video about her her whole motivation how she did her wedding I love that is it what I would necessarily do maybe not but I'm married already so <laughs> you know what does it matter but anyway um, I like it to when people know what they want where they stand and what they are looking for and I think that is an amazing amazing thing that we should all look for to have that kind of growth now I personally know now that I like big palettes I like big I like colorful I even like glitters you know I'm one of the very few you uh, colorful beauty youtubers that actually likes glitters I don't mind it at all don't do I miss it when it's not in a palette absolutely not as long as I have nice shimmers and whatever but I like it I like glitters I think I look phenomenal with glitters you know so um, so we can all be different and I think it's just the, the important thing in all of this is that we all start to see where we stand and still accept the other people for what they are but still know or sort of define or I don't know narrow it down to what we want where our heart is where our desires are you know that is basically what I want to leave this video with because it's all good after all it's all good it's just makeup <laughs> that coming out of my mouth I said that in some kind of conversation with my oldest son the other day I said it's just makeup and he was like <gasps> mom I'm shocked <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, he was absolutely shocked and I actually, the second it came out of my mouth, I was shocked too because makeup is my life, definitely, you know? But still, we cannot lose the, the proportion and, and think that this is all there is. There is so much more and that's why I'm also sharing more on my channel about my lifestyle and about my thoughts on different things. And anyway, so if you're interested, then please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. As I already told you, please check out my collab partners, but you're probably already subscribed to them anyway but I love them I love them so much and I just want them to succeed and to be happy in everything they're doing and I'm sending hugs and kisses to everybody and that is it for today so I hope you enjoyed tomorrow I have another video which is very very rare for me that I have a video on Fridays but it is going to be another collab and that is going to be a, a fun one so I highly recommend for you to come back for that one I'm also going to do makeup in this video so that is what it is and I'll see you here next time for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye